Yeah, touring. Uh, I actually just got back from Europe. Mm-hmm. That was the last tour. We've been we got, had home for what, t- two weeks or something like that? Two weeks before this tour, yeah. Straight into a headline tour. Well, it started out with uh, me and this guy over here. We're uh, hermanos, uh, brothers, as you say. And uh, we started the band. And then uh, we stumbled across Jaime in a dark alley one day. He was he was homeless. And uh, <laughs> pushing a shopping cart. <laughs> <laughs> a shopping cart playing this uh, bass <laughs> that he made with one string. And it sounded pretty good. So, uh, you know, we recruited him. Uh, Tony was uh, dealing drugs, you know, uh, just going down the... No, I'm just <laughs> None of that is true. You're taking a walk there. Tony, uh, we met Tony at a guitar uh, guitar shop he was working at, and uh, they were in a band together, and we all just kind of formed, transformed into one band. Yeah, pretty much. The All-Stars of San Diego, right? Oh, ooh, that's wow. A, that's a nickname we like to give ourselves <laughs> in our practice room. <laughs> Come on, guys, we're the All-Stars of San Diego. <laughs> This time we actually tried to plan for a little better, so we have a studio set up in the back, so we can actually <laughs> like take the time to to record the record on the road instead of having to you know stop and take a long break to to write and do all that kind of stuff. So yeah. trying to work things out better this time. When we're when we're on tour, yeah, you're like in, uh, you're definitely really into the music. You know, you're playing shows and then you come back and then you go to write a song. And you're like. It, it, I think it helps the songs because you you realize what you got to do. You know, you're like you just got off stage, and you're like, okay, what's what's gonna be fun for the next time we play? You know. Right. Uh, I've gotten hit a long time ago. Luckily, I haven't been hit since. But I got hit with you like hit a. I accidentally. Hit, you hit yourself. Yeah, I accidentally <laughs> hit myself with a. It was like a mic. It was like a drum mic stand that just whacked me in the face, and I had to get. I had to, I didn't even get stitches like they put like super glue on my face it like really at cool. the hospital. No, it looked opposite of cool. I looked like like Steven Glansberg by myself like in the corner with like just a glue on my. It face. looked like a unibrow. It was awesome. There was actually fun. a time before that in our old band where I used to you know spin the guitar and he before came over you guys to my. Were the San Diego All Stars. Yeah, yeah. Before that, where <laughs> the it came down on top of his head and I look over at him and just blood just yeah. all over his face. He had a cut like on the top of his head. It was, that was rough. Pretty intense. I played the set though. Yeah. You're the man, dude. Yeah. Uh, well, we were with Equal Vision for a very long time. Um, me and Mike had another band even that was uh, first signed to Equal Vision. So we've been with them for like almost like eight years. And um, so um, we kind of just wanted to try something new. I think the band is always uh, expanding and you know, we always want to keep moving in a forward direction, and uh, I think we just wanted to try something, and uh, we heard a lot of good things about Fearless, mm-hmm. and so far it's been really good. They've been pushing the punk ghost pop thing. We did a cover of uh, Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars, and it's been cool to see them uh, doing a good job pushing it, so. Right. Now you guys done a lot of covers before. You did the Michael Jackson, which was a big hit when you guys did that, and then, you know, it's been you're welcome. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> and Blue Oyster Cult way before that, too. So is there a song that you guys want to cover that you haven't covered before of any genre? Um, let's, let's figure that out. We're always, we're always, I mean, in our live set, we always like to add little snippets of songs that we were just, that are, that may be like, that we just heard on the radio that we thought were fun to play and stuff. But um, as far as like recording full songs, I, I'm not really, not really sure. I don't know. There's always going to be I've been listening to a lot of country lately, there you know. Taylor cover. Swift, Taylor some Lady Antebellum. Yeah, you know, I like uh, I like this guy named Trace Atkins right now. He's this huge dude. He's got this. He's got that deep voice. Yeah, there's a song called Honky Tonk, but Donk. There's your cover right there, recorded right there. I think that's gonna be our next cover. Vinny Langdon show. Oh, man, I felt good about that. <laughs> I'd be into. Uh, there's a song by uh, R. Kelly called "The Zoo." It's one of my favorite songs. I'd really be interested in. Uh, do you want to cover that? Yeah, go go check that out when you get home, <laughs> kids. <laughs> Went to Europe, you know, and, and it was it was a lot of fun, and like it got you know kids kids came out in places we've never even been to. Like we we played like Rome and Vienna and stuff, places we've never even thought of going to, and their kids showed up and were singing like every word. So, I, I mean, that's a win in my book. 
it was. Um, Played this one show, and there was a girl in the front row. Oh, it was. Uh, wearing close to nothing. It was in Switzerland. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. And she was rocking out harder I've ever seen, like, a fan rock out, like, yeah. straight. She just had a hand brace, like, on an ankle. <laughs> and she was just going... And banging as hard as she could. She made, like, I almost, I, like, looked at her, like, there was a time in the set where I just stopped, and I looked at Vic, and as I looked at Vic, he looked at me and went... <laughs> What's up, guys? We're Pierce the Veil. Thanks for watching us on the Vinny Langdon Show. Woo. And thank you, Vinny.